Hello everybody, Jarek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can verify your ISO, your Linux ISO, when you download it. As you notice here on linuxmint.com, it'll say, don't forget to verify your ISO. Well, what does that mean? We're gonna find out. So you need to install GTK Hash, and I've already got mine installed, so I'm gonna open up GTK Hash. Just have that in the background here. Then I'm gonna download my ISO. I'm gonna let that save. It should only take a couple of seconds here to grab. And uh, GTK hashes or GTK hash is a useful tool because it makes this whole thing a lot easier, but you can also do it in the command line and that information is in the article I wrote in the description. But uh, once this ISO is done downloading, one second here we can go to the verify ISO. Now, every time you download something, you're gonna see a link. It, you know, on Ubuntu, it might be different than it shows on Linux Mint or Fedora or whatever, but just look for something like this. Now, when I click verify, I'm gonna click my version. So I downloaded version 20, and uh, this is the information I need. So I'm using the Cinemat version. So this is the hash that needs to match. So I'm gonna go to GTK hash, I'm going to browse for the file and I'm going to open it. Now I'm going to have this code here and paste it into the check. Now for it to be correct and successful, you know, basically that I, I know that the hash is correct and that means that if they match, nothing was tampered with, this should show back up in the SHA-256 box. So I'm gonna let it check. It'll only take a couple of seconds, doesn't take too long, just gotta sit back. And uh, once it's done, we can see the information here is identical to what I pasted in the check. So I know that my ISO is correct. I know that Linux Mint was using it and that no hacker was able to go in and modify it and mess with it. And it's really that easy. I know a lot of people skip verifying their ISOs because it sounds complicated. It's really not, and you should probably do it if you value your safety. So very quick. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video, and I will see you in the next one.